Good morning, everyone. It's Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada, where overnight it has snowed. <laughs> um, the last week or so it's kind of cooled down a little bit, but um, I know that it's one day closer to spring. <laughs> one day closer to a little bit warm weather where I'm sure I will complain about the heat, right? <laughs> So yes, that means that I will be shoveling a driveway uh, today, so uh, later on I gotta build up my muscles and my strength for that. I see my screen as being fussy. There we go. Alright, so today, messy bun, get stuff done. It is Friday, I'm wearing my Stampin' Up! shirt. Can you see it? Stampin' Up! shirt. I'm just in the creating mood, so I'm excited about that. Hello, Kathy. Good morning. Good to see you. So just like Kathy, when you pop on, say hello. You can tell me where you're from, um, if I've already met you. Awesome. I'm so happy to see you back. If I haven't met you before, I'm Jen Houston, and I have this crafting business that uses Stampin' Up! products. I love Stampin' Up! because it is quality products. It's also um, great for coordinating. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to craft. Um, I was just uh, talking to Linda this morning, a different Linda, hi other Linda, and uh, my daughter will be happy going to Bath skiing on spring break. Get out! Wow, that's, that's awesome. Hi, Gina. I forget what I was saying. Oh, I was talking to Linda this morning and she says she's not crafty, but she's learning so much um, from another card making friend, Karen, and me, and I'm sure she watches other demonstrators and things. And so you, you really don't have to be crafty for this, um, for card making or paper crafting because Stampin' Up! makes it so easy for us. So that's so good. Awesome. All right, I'm so excited that, yes, Banff, wow, that's uh, like 13 minutes away. It's the next town, so, wow, that's awesome. I know I was talking to Lisa Harden yesterday, and uh, we were thinking about plans for her to come here in the summer. I'm just so excited about it. So, just like Lisa, you're, you all are welcome to come and, you know, say hello, say, come and visit. Um, it is uh, definitely one of the highlights. Um, I think uh, somebody was mentioning it, that it's rated number 97 out of 100 places in the world to visit. So uh, you'd be seeing a marvel of the world, that's for sure. It's so beautiful here. All right, so crafting today. We are continuing on with Blessings of Home that bundle it's got the beautiful flower images and some beautiful uh, font and sentiments and today we're going to be making a fun fold which is always great but an easy one it's a very easy one good morning Minnie Donna I, I think I said hello to Donna if I missed you I'm very sorry um, I will attempt to pay attention no guarantees oh look what's happening I see the leg and I can't do it any less. You were, you were there when you were a child. Cool. Okay, this I can see. Well, maybe we'll be able to, fingers crossed. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so this, today's fold, if you um, are crafting along with me today, let me know. If you're just watching today, let me know. Um, if I go too fast, too slow, let me know. Um, this is a card class for you guys. Let me take off my name, you should know by now. So our first piece that we are gonna be using is a card base. Hi, Amy, good to see. Weird I didn't get notification for you live. I had to go look for you. I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure, weird. Um, our card base is actually just gonna be one piece of paper, however, if you are a person who likes to write a lot, 
do the typical card base of five and a half by eight and a half folded in half like a book. Okay, but this one is four and a quarter by five and a half. And of course, if you don't write down all these measurements or didn't see the um, card recipe ahead of time, no worries. It's going to be on my blog later on today. And so there you can find all these in all this information, the products I've used and the measurements for these cards. So four and a quarter by five and a half is our first layer. Then we're going to have a piece of pattern paper, which I'm going to use from, oh man, this is from, come on, Friday, I've lost my mind. and home. I'm gonna have to come back. There is the, oh, Kevin, you got that? A guy came to measure our floors yesterday and he forgot his little measurement tool. Goodness, that thing's fancy. You just it's like a laser beam you just po point it at the wall and next thing you know it, uh, it measures it for you no more you know trying to dig out the measuring tape and uh, trying to figure out what that is so that's pretty cool anyways what I, heart and home designer series paper is what we're using today um, this is measuring four by five and a quarter so the typical next quarter size down and then we're going to need two pieces of cardstock and it is measuring two and a half by four i'm using pale papaya okay then we need two pieces of uh two and a quarter by three and a quarter you're going to be possibly stamping on this one hi teresa good morning um stamping on this one so you might want this one to be a little bit lighter I'm going to be doing something a little bit later. I'm actually going to make another piece. Totally up to you. Um, but I want to layer this card, beautiful designer series paper on top of this layer. So this wasn't in the measurements, but uh, you're getting it for free here. <laughs> Two by three and a half, that measures. All right, and the thing that is going to make this all cool and a fun fold is this piece right here. It's one and three quarters by four and a half. And I don't know if you can see, but on one end, I've scored it at a half inch. Okay. All right. Let's get this thing rolling. So first off, what we're going to do is take our little mechanism here. And we're going to actually glue it to the back of our designer series paper. So where that little score line is, you can put a little fold there. You can use your bone folder just to give it a good crease. And so we're going to end up gluing it on the back side here. Now, as you will notice, it tends to leave a little bit of a strip. Like so. See how there's a little bit left? So what you can do is if that bothers you, of course, take a little trimmer and trim that off. For me, it doesn't really, you know, drive me nuts or anything. Actually, what I was going to do here first was show you how Versamark, even though it's not an actual ink, it's more like a sticky glue, you can use it as ink to put on a faint, faint image. So watch this. Sorry. There's an earthquake right now. It's just me stamping. I'm on a different desk than I'm normally on, and so mm -hmm, just a little more jumpy. So I've got Versamark on here. I'm going to actually stamp it onto here just to put a little faint, faint image there. This table I'm on also is a little bit bowed, and so even though I've got my pad here, and uh, another pad underneath it, it's still not quite even. So some of my stamps come out perfectly, others just not so much. All right. 
So it's just very, very faint. A little something on your paper. Um, a little surprise, right? Okay, glad I remembered that little piece. Now you can either use tear and tape or I'm, use, I'm using the Stamp and Seal Plus. It's a little more sticky than the regular seal. Load it up. And I'm gonna just put this kind of off-centered a little bit, a little off to the left. Um, I have seen these cards done with it right in the middle. Totally up to you, but um, this is how I'm gonna work this. All right, the next thing is we're gonna attach this to our card base. Easy peasy, make sure you get glue on top of that little piece that we just kind of did there. We wanna make sure it's got as much sturdiness as possible. And we're laying that over top, like so. All right, next. We have two pieces of our pale papaya, and this is gonna be our matte layer. So um, I'm not gonna be doing anything exciting to this. I'm just, it's just gonna be um, as is with something on top of it. All right, so my next layer, which one is one that you can stamp on. So you, this is the one you can decorate. Um, if you're using Heart and Home, what might look or not her blessings of home you might want to say stamp that in a gold embossing oh pretty or you might want to actually stamp this and color it in or I'll show you a different version later on but uh, um, any image you can stamp your sentiment here um, whatever you want but I'm actually going to put another layer over top of it and I'll show you what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit different. So this is, an, it's gonna be, this is gonna act like another mat. All right, so like I said, I'm actually gonna put a piece of designer series paper because it's so pretty. Okay, there we go. Now, onto this, I'm also going to add I already stamped a little piece of this stamp, colored it in with, I used some flirty flamingo, um, pale papaya, and I, we don't have garden green stamp and blends, so I use the soft succulent, and I think it's, it's pretty close to garden green, it doesn't clash or anything, so um, I use that. Then I just cut along the edge on one side and chopped off, you know, just to make it fit right in this little area right there. Isn't that kind of cute? And I'm gonna pop that up because I think it'll look neat, a little bit raised. So there was my silly little idea. <laughs> just to go a little bit above and beyond. There we go, like so. Neat, hey? You had to reboot? Oh no, that's okay. I'm always, it's always on my YouTube channel or I'll put it on my Facebook later again today, the link, so isn't that neat? So this is gonna be my front. I think I wanna add some sort of sentiment um, but something pretty simple. This one is have a perfect birthday. A little too much, I think. There is the have a beautiful day. Um, I could cut that up. So let's see, let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna use the memento black. Thanks. Yeah, just you don't have to use the entire image all the time right you can always uh, just use a partial piece of it um, use what you want see on this stamp I don't really want for love I just because I think I'm gonna match it with the uh, birthday stamp so what a beautiful day let's go with that 
cut off the fur love. <laughs> and let's see. May end up trimming this a little bit differently. What a beautiful day. I don't want to cover up that beautiful flower, but I think I think that's okay. How about we get out the twine? My twine. Well, I had my twine because I remember rolling it up yesterday, but I'm sure I probably got it out again because twine is one of those things I use all the time. Okay, another idea. Oh, here it is. Perfect. All right, I'm going to actually put a strip of seal. Good morning. Good morning, Barbara. All right, let's just make our little loop-de-loops. I'm gonna just wrap this around my finger. One, two, three. Cut that off so now I've got myself a little loop and I can just kind of give it a twist put it on behind and you can kind of make it as messy or as um, perfect as you like just a little something behind the words and I'm going to put some dimensionals however I see that this part's already going to be popped up a little bit so this one's going to have to have two. So let's see here. This side gets, did I say one? And this side gets a layer of two. And dimensionals just help hold down that uh, thread there so we're not, uh, you know, getting too, too messy. Hi, Colette. Good day. Prince Edward Island. Awesome. Okay. So oh, there we go. We're sagging in the middle there. No sagging. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's fix that sagginess by adding another little one in the middle. We're gonna need two. Now I've already used that one, so let's see what we can do here. There, that's better. What a beautiful day. Cute. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I may add some champagne rhinestones. I think they would look really pretty just kind of randomly all over. So that's going to go on the front of my car. Now let's make our the piece that's going to go on the inside of the car. And it's just teeny tiny, so um, not much to uh, write with. Um, so if you are a person who likes to write a lot, then I would suggest that you actually make a, an actual card base. So an eight and a half by five and a half folded in half. And this would be a normal card base with a place that you can write on the inside. Okay, let's stick with that pale papaya color. And let's stamp this flower. on the card insert add a little bit of something to the inside there again your whole image doesn't have to be on the card it can be just a partial image and I want to add this about the birthday have a perfect birthday so let's use black again Mental black and I think it's gonna fit just perfectly now I know this stamp is a little bit a little bit crooked so I've got have needs to come down a little bit so we're gonna do it a little bit on the angle as you can see I haven't even put the backing on this stamp yet oh perfect, perfect. all right so that's gonna go on the card insert so 
let's glue that on here. While I was reading my Bible this morning, my um, devotional, it was talking about words and how they are so important. You, you have, it says you have, um, well, life or death in your tongue. It says how you can encourage people. And I just, it just made me think of all us card makers who are um, such a blessing to so many others that we just kind of, you know, are able to use our words, even if it's in written format, uh, to, you know, make somebody's day, to change their to change their day around, to change their life around. Because you know what it's like when you get something, uh, a comment or something special said to you, it just makes you feel good. So um, it was just a great reminder today of, you know, this is why we do what we do. All right, so we are gonna put this layer on top of this card. However, we're only gonna attach it to this little strip here. So what we're gonna do to make sure we don't get glue outside of that is we're gonna flip it over and put dimensionals in this area. That area only. There we go. Okay, let's take that off. Now, once again, we should be good to go. Just place it in the center where you kind of think it should go. Hopefully we won't have dimensionals on the back, but that's gonna kind of be our little hinge, if you like. So we're flipping this over. So I've done this card a long, long time ago, but I went back in my YouTube vault <laughs> and had a look. Um, it's been a while, so I thought, oh, let's go see what I've done in the past and let's make one of those cards again with new uh, Stampin' Up! product. All right, so we're not done yet because we want to put our little card insert, but we want to make sure that it's not showing, okay? So you don't wanna just guess, because <laughs> you can see I would, I would have guessed incorrectly and there would be the underneath showing through. Can you see that? It wouldn't be lined up nicely. So what we can do to line this up perfectly is you, lit, well, let's put some glue on the back first of all. I'm just gonna use the seal. Make sure it's flipped going in the right direction. We're just gonna lay this on top of the other piece and carefully, oh so carefully, close the card base. <laughs> Let's check it. Woo, perfect. So now I can't see the edges from underneath. And when I flip that open, you have your little uh, place you can write your sentiment or like a, you can add some more decorative items. You can use a bigger sentiment and then have an actual card base there to write your comments in, what have you. But let me get my champagne rhinestones because they are one of my favorites. I To me, they're a must, absolutely a must. They go with so many things. I don't know, they just tend to go with every color. There, a little bling. Okay, so there is our flat card. Isn't that neat? Can you give me a heart if you've done this before? This flat card, if, uh, if you have, I hope this reminds you of it and how fun this can be, just a little something different. Um, if you haven't tried this before, I hope you give this a try and uh, show me a picture of your project by next Thursday and you'll be entered into a draw to win this exact card. Okay, here's another card that I made earlier, but I changed a little something, some things up here. So this one I used Fresh Freesia as the card base. I continue to use that heart and home paper, but I flipped it over. It has the um, wood grain look on the back. 
and then there we go. Now this one I decided to see how it doesn't really line up perfectly. I decided to make it one quarter inch bigger than the mat, the front mat. So that way you can see a little piece of it poking out behind the front piece. Does that make sense? All right, and this is the New Horizons paper. It's so beautiful. And so this was one of the skies and I stamped the flower image just here and here and then did that same thing, what a beautiful day. Now um, you're like, well, doesn't it say what a beautiful day for love? Yes, it does. So what I did was I put my little sticky note over top of the for love, inked it up, took this off and then stamped it in that way. You can kind of mask uh, whatever words you want to keep and what words you want to kind of get rid of. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that little piece peeking out behind. So if you have some designer series paper that has a beautiful little pattern that ties in, why not use it? And then I had a little strip left over from here. So I thought, oh, let's add that to the inside. And there we go. We just kind of tied it all together. And we got to have a per perfect birthday. But I also had a little bit of ribbon here. Um, once again, I did the little bit of stamping with Versamark on the background. It just, it's so subtle, you don't even notice it's there, but it's something, right? Yeah, so I'm curious. <laughs> Which do you like better? Do you like green or purple? Write your comment below. I'm curious to see which one you like better, green or purple. And I'm gonna take a sip of water. Green. Hi, Donald Lowen, by the way. Good to see you. Both beautiful. Green, purple, both. Purple, yeah, purple. Neat, eh? Green, green, purple. So there's a big mix. Both, but I like purple the best. Awesome. So that's why you need to kind of, this would not be my color combination to kind of immediately go and try. So I'm excited that I did because there are lots of green people out there. There are, I know there's lots of purple people out there, but you know, you just never know what somebody would like. Um, they don't always like what you like. <laughs> that's what I'm finding out with my husband and paint colors. <laughs> Anyways, so there we go. I hope you have enjoyed today. And of course, all of the products that I use today are available for purchase through me. I sell the Stampin' Up! products. Um, so you can contact me if something interests you and you want to get that into your hands. Otherwise, give this technique a try. Give yesterday's technique a try. Also, the accordion fold. Post a picture of your projects um, anywhere in either the comments of this video or I'm going to be posting later on a link to my blog with all the measurements. I don't know. Throw it, throw your picture on my blog some, or on my Facebook page somewhere and I will find it. And next week we will do a, two draws for the cards that I've made during the live. So I'm excited to see what you come up with. Oh man, I got a mad face. <laughs> oh dear, if I've offended you or hurt your feelings, I'm very sorry. <laughs> All right, you liked yesterday's fold as well? Yeah, something a little different, right? Something, something just push yourself a little bit outside the box, these things you wanna try. There's so many folds. So many folds, so little time, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. 
I will be back next week with a new feature. I'm excited to play with this one. I, as soon as I saw it in the catalog, I'm like, oh my word, I have, must have this. But I forced myself to wait a little bit and then order it. So I ordered it on the last day of February to get my extra, you know, free celebration item. So somebody might have hit the mad button in there. I hope so. I hope so. That was me. My finger hit the wrong one. <laughs> no worries, Barbara. I am sure I've done that before. <laughs> All right. So have a great weekend. See you next week. Be on the lookout for next week's uh, feature. All right. Talk to you later. Remember, your words are very important. They can bless other people or they can tear them down. And I know that your wonderful cards going out to pe random people um, are definitely a blessing and making their day. So keep on making a difference. Bye everyone.